Live from Maine and Gervais. Guys, you're getting ready for work this morning. You're going to need to take a moment out and stop and look at the screen because Dan Newbanks, for him anyway, it's all about the eyes. And starting this afternoon, you can check out some of Dan's work up close and personal. So stop what you're doing. Take a look because this is a visual segment. First of all, good morning, Dan. Good morning. So you are a photographer. Yes, sir. An artistic an photographer. Artist. Would you yep. say that to be yep. fair? Fine art, sure. A fine art photographer. <laughs> What's your background? Uh, well, I've got a, a background in commercial um, art and uh, yellow paint sales is where I came from came from right. like a marketing background okay uh, did that for years and then uh, you know as the yellow pages crashed and Google took over the world right I decided to, to step into to photography kids in case you're curious what the yellow pages actually are <laughs> yeah there used to be a big book about that fat full of businesses that would be delivered to our houses back when phones were connected to the wall and now, now they're doorstops <laughs> exactly if, if that at all man so you've got uh, you've got a deal starting tonight at the good life cafe yeah that's right tonight um, despite the heat come on out uh, the good life cafe is part of uh, my show is part of the first thursday on maine which right. has been going eight or nine years i've had the the pleasure of being involved with that um, okay this will be my first solo show so right. the first time i've shown my work um, as, a, as a feature i've been involved with lots of shows you know throughout the years with other artists sure this will be the first time i'm, I'm showing by myself. We'll have a reggae band out there tonight. Uh, great food, great atmosphere, good drinks, cold drinks. Good stuff. So. Like, I mean, good and cold, <laughs> yeah. sure enough. Dan, let's take a look at a couple of, uh, obviously, the big screen here. We can see uh, this is Dubber, right? It is the Dubber. It's a piece oh. that I call uh, Soul of Columbia. Okay. And, and uh, he's a great friend of mine, and it's one of the, one of my first major pieces that I that I put together. Uh, right. And it's actually got a, a map of Columbia from 1930 overlaid over top of the image. And um, that is uh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's take a look at a couple other ones. So you do sure. kind of artistic stuff. This one's neat. What's what's this one called? It's called Tranquility. And a lot of my work deals with uh, themes of psychology or uh, philosophy or sometimes mythology. And okay. It, whether it's you know moods just such as a peaceful tranquility scene or something a little more complicated. Right. Um, like one of my other pieces here that I've got with us, but this one's uh, you know. I like that one a lot. Sure. Yeah, pull that piece up here. This sure. is interesting. I asked uh, I asked him guys right before we went on if this was a painting because it really uh here, let me go ahead and get you this shot right here. It really does look like a, like a painting, but it's not. It's actually a, a photograph with right. some manipulation. Right. And uh, and I'll steal a term from Atlanta artist Thomas Dodd. He says that his work is painterly, even though it's photography. Painterly. It's a painterly photography style, I guess, right. uh, which basically is taking elements, a lot of different elements, and compiling them and, uh, and, and creating an art piece out of you know a combination of, of photographs. Sure. Sure. That's uh, that's great. Painterly. There it is, guys. All right, Daniel Banks so tonight at the Good Life Cafe starting at 5 o'clock. Folks can come. Are these for sale as well? They just do, yeah, uh, absolutely. It's okay. for sale. I've got all my pieces uh, marked with uh, the prices and, and sure. available for purchase. That's good stuff. You can come check it out at the Good Life Cafe. It's going to be high. Now, you're going to stick around for a little bit. I'm fascinated by you. Come from sales and marketing, and you build yourself a, a business as a shutterbug. Uh, I know that a lot of folks uh, want to probably follow in your footsteps, and I thought maybe we'd go through how some tips and some ideas. Stay Fantastic. With us. Awesome. He's going to stick around with us. Some great stuff with details at abccolumbia.com. If you've ever thought you had an eye for a good picture, but don't know how to get the artistic juices flowing enough to actually start making a little cabbage or maybe even eventually have an exhibit, our friend Dan Newbanks is here to tell you actually who took the same ride, but kind of tell you how to do it. You are a, a salesman for the Yellow Pages. Yep. The big, the big yellow book that your grandmothers probably still have, kids. It's about that thick around. And did you always have that kind of love of pictures? Um, yeah, my dad is an artist, and okay. and he's uh, you know was big into to painting a lot, and so right. I've always had that influence. But uh, it wasn't until about ten years ago when the yellow pages started to decline, I picked up the camera um, for the first time seriously, more as a commercial uh, sort of a, a way to get into to just taking photographers, make my ads look better. Right. Uh, you couldn't depend on the company to do it. So. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so uh, and that sort of morphed into a long journey of, of really honing my my own skills mm -hmm. as an artist. How did you? How did you take that then, you know, kind of say a hobby, I guess, out of necessity, but how did you really hone that? Did you, did you take classes? Did you teach yourself? 
to get to the point where you're able to turn now and do commercial and offer it to another company, even as an advertisement? Yeah, and, and for a long time, that was the, the major source of my income was just commercial photography and, and advertisement. And stuff how like did you that. find but him? How, how did you walk up to that first person and say, hey, my name's Dan and I want to take your pictures? <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of guts and just daring <laughs> to just get the, and sometimes just out of sheer necessity. You know, right. the funds get tight. You got to go out there and do something to get some money. And then that's uh, sure. really, really what happens is you just, you have to overcome any kind of fear. And of course, my background in sales, you just learn to talk to people and go sure. out and get it. So. When it comes to equipment, um, you know, obviously folks, you, you want to go to Best Buy and you get yourself a camera, you know, but it, there really is something to do with you get what you pay for, when it comes, especially when it comes right. to equipment, right? Yeah, sure. The, the, the right tools are important. Um, there's a lot of cameras out there nowadays that are uh, more affordable that will do the job. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, you can spend upwards of $50,000, $80,000 on a camera. You got to sell a lot of pictures to make uh, that back that's up, right. Buddy. Yeah, I mean, but it's not really necessary. I mean, right. you know, the basics um, can really get you there. Mm -hmm. uh, but the biggest thing is, is just the willingness to learn and to listen. Uh, it, a lot of humility comes in, in, into play when you can sit down with other artists, right. take criticism well. Um, and YouTube, believe it or not, is your friend. I mean, there's uh, hundreds of thousands of millions of, uh, of, of just tutorials on how to do different things with Photoshop, Lightroom, right. you know, all of the digital tools that come into play now. And of course, another major thing is, is just exposing yourself to art from the past. I mean, just really dig too. into to art uh, and just let yourself, you know, be inundated with, with, you know, artists that have, you know, been around for centuries. Sure, and ones maybe influential. How can folks yeah. reach out to you uh, if they want to maybe just say, hey, Dan, I got a quick question. Yeah, find me on Facebook. That's, okay. uh, or Instagram, either one. It's Alchemist Imaging is the, my company's name. Right. Um, and Alchemist Imaging has been around for several years now. But mm -hmm. uh, we're, you know, Facebook, Instagram, is, cool. uh, you know, slash Alchemist Imaging. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, we'll put links for it at abccolumbia.com. And real quick, we got to go. But uh, tonight at Good Life Cafe, folks can check you out, meet you, see some of your artwork up yeah. close and personal, ask questions of Dan. Right. Yeah. But, um, thank you. We thank you very much, guys. Put links for you to him at abccolumbia.com. Get out there and take a few pictures, y'all. Don't be scared. Just do it. Hey, this